Hey there, and welcome to 650. This is a brand new video series that I'm starting where I'm gonna take a look once a week at comic books that were released six months ago. And what I'm going to do is review the top 50 comic books that have retained value over the last six months. I figured I would take a fresh approach and really look at the comic book values themselves for specific comic books that have retained the most value since their release. So that's the explanation for the title of this series being 650, six being for six months ago, and 50 for being the top 50 comic books that have retained their value. Now these 50 comic books have retained their value for some reason or another, but I'm simply gonna deliver the information related to the books, show you the values, and I think that a six month time period for a retrospective is a good amount of time because the books are still relatively new so that if you did miss out on one of these books, you still have time to probably find it at an LCS or at an online store. But it's also a good amount of time because when a comic book has been on the market for around six months, you have a number of transactions for the book raw, but you've also had the opportunity to see some sales when the book has been sent in for professional grading. Now, with this being the first video in what hopes to be a regular weekly series, I wanna make sure that the format is just right for you. So if you don't mind providing some feedback, please leave a comment below. And also remember that Moneyball Comics channel members are getting early access to these 560 videos, which means they'll have early access to some of these books and they may be tracking them down by the time you get to view this. So please consider becoming a Moneyball Comics YouTube channel member by clicking the join button underneath this video. Now let's get to this week's list for comic books released on February 22nd, 2023. Number 50 is Amazing Spider-Man number 20, the Marco Torini Virgin variant, $21.36. Number 49, Once Upon a Time at the End of the World number 4, the Jorge Corona Virgin Edition, and this is a 1 in 75, $24.33. Immoral X-Men, number 1. The Mark Brooks Virgin variant, this is a 1 in 50, featuring Emma Frost, $24.42. Number 47, Thor, number 31. The Russell Dodderman, 1 in 25 ratio incentive, $24.81. Number 46, Liquid Kill, number 1, the David Mack Foil variant, $24.99. Number 45, Lady Death Necrotic Genesis, number 1, the Lady Bat Slabbed Edition, $24.99. Number 44, Liquid Kill, number 1, the Javon Jordan Foil Arcade Edition, $25. Number 43, Catwoman, number 52, the David Nakayama Virgin Foil Edition, limited to 1,500 copies, $27.50. Number 42, Frank Miller's Ronin Book 2, number 2. This is the 1 in 25 with cover art by Frank Miller, $28. Dune, House Harkonnen, number 2. This is the Serge Acuna Virgin Edition. It is a 1 in 50 retailer incentive, $29.99. Number 40, Draculina Blood Simple, number 1. This is the Rachel Holland Cosplay Edition. It is the Virgin variant. It is a 1 in 30 ratio incentive, $29.99. Number 39, Liquid Kill, number 1. This is the Javon Jordan Arcade Edition, $30. Blue Book, number one, the Michael Avon Oming Virgin variant, $31.79. Number 37, Amazing Spider-Man, number 20. This is the Ariel Diaz Virgin variant, $31.99. Number 36, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, volume two, number three. This is the Alan Qua Cover Eye, one in a hundred retailer incentive, $32.50. Number 35, Superman, number one. This is the Jamal Campbell foil edition. It is a one in 100 retailer incentive, $33. Number 34, Blue Book, number one. This is the Michael Avon Oming tiny onion edition that is limited to 500 copies, $33.32. 
Number 33, Wonder Woman number 796, the Yannick Paquette Foil Edition. It is a 1 in 50 retailer incentive, $33.40. Number 32, Deadpool number 4, the Miko Swayan Big Time Collectibles Virgin variant, $36. Number 31, Superman number 1, the Big Time Collectibles Platinum Edition, $36.34. Number 30 is Superman number one, the Andy Kubert Comics Pro variant, $37.49. Number 29, Gargoyles number three, the Lucio Perillo Virgin Edition. It is a one in a hundred retailer incentive, $38. Number 28, Superman number one, the Jamal Campbell Virgin Black and White Foil, one per store variant, $38.09. Number 27, Something is Killing the Children, number 29, the Ariel Diaz Virgin Foil that is limited to 500 copies, $38.33. Number 26, Local Man, number one, the Tim Seeley and Tony Fleeks Spawn 9 homage cover, $39.99. Number 25, Batman, One Bad Day, Clayface, number one, the Brian Bolland, one in a hundred, retailer incentive, $40.23. Number 24, Darkwing Duck, number two, the Trish Forstner, Virgin Edition, this is a one in a hundred and fifty, retailer incentive, $41. Number 23, Ninja Funk, number four, the Akira Homage Foil variant, $46.06. Number 22, Thor, number 31. This is the Ken Lashley Black Panther Black History Month, one in a hundred retailer incentive, $47. Number 21, Deceased War of the Undead Gods, number six, the Sun Kamunaki Cover E, one in 50 retailer incentive, $48. Number 20, Godfell, number one, the Maria Wolf, one in a hundred retailer incentive, $49.99. Number 19, Something is Killing the Children, number 29, the Guillaume March Cover D, one in 50 retailer incentive, $50. Number 18, Lazarus Planet Omega, number one, the Marquez and Sanchez Foil, one in a hundred retailer incentive, $52.74. Number 17, Gargoyles, number three, the Leslie Lyrics Lee Virgin Edition. This is a 1 in 150 retailer incentive, $54.57. Number 16, Liquid Kill number 1, the Rob Cannon Foil Metal Gear Solid Homage, limited to 75 copies, $55.99. Number 15, Unbreakable Red Sonia number 3, the Lucio Perillo Limited Virgin Variant, $56.66. Number 14, Gargoyles, number three. This is the J. Lee Virgin variant. It is a one in 200 retailer incentive, $58. Number 13, Darkwing Duck, number two. The Leslie Lyrics Lee Virgin variant. It is a one in 200 retailer incentive, $58. Number 12, Something is Killing the Children, number 29. The Tyler Kirkham Virgin Foil Battle Damage Variant, $59.95. Number 11, Local Man Number 1, the Stadium Comics Variant Limited to 500 Copies, $59.99. Now here is your top 10. Number 10, Immoral X-Men Number 1, the KRS Comics Exclusive with Cover Art by Via Lobos Limited to 500 Copies, $59.99. Number nine, blank canvas number one, the Comics Pro Edition, $60.49. Number eight, Superman, number one, the blue foil variant, $61.70. Number seven, Catwoman, number 52, the KRS Comics exclusive with cover art by Will Jack, limited to 800 copies, $62.59. Number six, Lazarus Planet Omega number one, the Helene Lenoble one in 50 retailer incentive with cover art featuring Power Girl, $64. Number five, 
Something is Killing the Children, number 29. The Zoe Lackey Trinity Comics Virgin Edition, limited to 400 copies, $69.95. Number 4, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, volume 2, number 3. This is the Michael Dialinus Cover Cave Virgin 1 in 200 Retailer Incentive, $69.99. Number 3, Darkwing Duck number 1, the David Nakayama Metal Edition, $69.99. Number 2, Superman number 1, the Francesco Mattina Spot Foil Variant. This is a 1 in 200 Retailer Incentive, $73.33. And your number 1 comic book that has held the most value over the last six months is Blue Book number one, the In Hyuk Lee Comics Pro Edition, $100. And there you have it. There are the top 50 comics that have retained the most value over the last six months since they were originally released. Hopefully you can pick up on some trends and learn from this information and use this data to help you make more informed decisions when you're buying books on new comic book day or you're placing your pre-orders. If you are pre-ordering comics, please consider ordering from darkdominioncomics.com. That's where I do all of my pre-ordering and they are the official provider of the comics or comic book related items that I give away monthly as a thank you to my regular channel members. Thank you for watching, happy collecting, and see you next time.